Were we all wrong? What's up guys, Andrew here on my channel Gear Inc. where I get to share what I'm passionate about with you. To my channel, it's PC Tech, Games, and Gear. And first off, thank you to everyone who put up with my last video. I'm so sorry the mic was broken. When I was doing editing, I had the volume, I wasn't even paying attention, but the volume was to a certain level where I could hear it, and it took me afterward to realize my mic was basically dead. So I got a new one, it should be able to hear this, I'll double check before I post this video, but thank you for everyone for bearing through that. So just from my last video, my thoughts were not to pre-order because we did not have enough benchmarks. This is the first time in a long time I haven't pre-ordered a brand brand new NVIDIA GPU. I am a graphics card whore. I literally, yes, I'm one of those horrible people who pre-order GPUs, which I shouldn't do. I know I, I'm one of those people. Typically, this is the first time in like five or six years I haven't done that. And it's because simply there wasn't enough information. Like literally, um, you know, there wasn't any performance uh, talked about with Jensen. We just talked about RTX and the cost of these new GPUs, which by the way, already sold out like $1,200 GPUs are just gone in a day. It is nuts. But all that aside, we did finally get some performance information from NVIDIA. Now I need to set the stage for this because understand that these were under very specific circumstances. We don't know exactly what settings they were running at. We do know that it was 4K and we do know that they were comparing a 2080 and a 1080. So the performance gain was basically double, but the caveat is that first off it was in 4K and they were using their new technology DLSS. That is the AI tensor core anti-aliasing technology that uses what's called inferring. Basically the AI intelligence intelligently picks out pixels and uh, basically preempts them with images that it thinks should go there. And obviously it learns how to do that the more you play the game and basically it doesn't have any or impact or very minimal impact to performance. Now, obviously what that means is that you would not get these performance gains um, if you were playing a game that didn't have DLSS supported. And we also don't know what that's gonna look like in 1080p, which is still the majority of resolution that gamers play at. So, you know, it, it wasn't necessarily a fair representation of performance because traditional, if we can kind of extrapolate, we believe that probably 20% is what we're gonna see um, performance gains over previous generation, um, 20 to 25% because that's what we've seen, you know, year over year, which would be right in line, but certainly not double. And if it is able to provide double and there are games that support this, that's great, but you have to have those circumstances set up, which again, it's kind of a gerrymandered benchmark. So anyway, guys, it's nice that we finally got to see at least a little bit performance out of NVIDIA, where they're being more specific and not just talking about ray tracing, Props where props are due. Ray tracing is pretty miraculous. Um, I, you know, if you actually understand like the science behind that and what they're actually doing, it's really cool. Doesn't matter if it's obviously gonna take a huge performance hit for it, if there's not enough games to support it, and certainly if the price doesn't justify it, right? So that's why I'm saying for now, hold off on pre-ordering. I certainly am going to wait until I see some benchmarks and then I may order my own and take that hit to my wallet, but we'll have to wait and see. And talking about that, guys, um, thank you quick everyone um, who supported my channel. I'm putting away a little uh, giveaway together. Uh, it's going to drop it for the end of the week. It's just a way to say thank you to all of you. I want to try to continue to give back. And so if you want to support my channel directly, you can become a Patreon. Um, you can also, you know, subscribe to me on Twitch. You can use my Amazon affiliate link. All those ways support me. And if you're Twitch or Patreon, I'll put your name at the end of the, uh, my videos. But as always, guys, if you like this video, go to leave me a big thumbs up. If you didn't, go to leave me a thumbs down. Remember to hit that subscribe and the bell icon. YouTube's algorithm is stupid. So make sure that you do that. And as always, um, you know, just want to be a big shout out to all of you. Thank you for the support of my channel. And uh, I'm going to continue to make these videos, whether you watch them or not. But I hope you do. And I hope to see all of you next time here on Gear Dink.